Welcome to the International Organisation for Migrations, Migration Services to Australia presentation on the subclass 485 temporary graduate visa. My name is Kylie Maxwell and I'm a senior migration agent and a registered migration agent with the International Organisation for Migration. Today we will be discussing the subclass 485 temporary graduate visa. This is a visa that many students undertake after finishing their studies and completing their student visa. It is a visa that many students like to obtain to provide them with work experience post-study and also to decide if they wish to remain in Australia long term. Before we move forward with that, however, I'd like to discuss some information on the International Organisation for Migration, or IOM. IOM was established in 1951. We have 166 member states with over 9,000 employees. We are in over 150 countries with more than 480 additional field officers and we are the United Nations Migration Agency. So as you can understand, IOM is well established and we do know our migration. Migration Services to Australia is an IOM program which provides migration advice and visa application assistance to people both in Australia and offshore wishing to apply for a visa. We also also provide travel services for those people wishing to apply from offshore to enable them to avail of concessional airfares and concessional baggage allowances. The Post Arrival Connect assistance allows those who have been granted a visa to be contacted by IOM within six weeks of the grant of their visa or their arrival and to discuss the visa conditions and the visa expiry date of their visa to ensure they understand both of these and also to allow them to, to talk to someone to ensure they have all the conditions and all the information that is true and correct for their visa. So moving forward, the temporary graduate visa subclass 485 is a temporary visa. It allows you to live and work in Australia for a period of between 18 months and four years. This period of visa validity depends on your studies. So if you were studying a trade certificate, for example, you will be granted an 18 month visa validity. If you were studying a doctorate, however, you would be granted a four year visa validity. So this is where the period of validity comes in. It's based on your study. So the temporary graduate visa subclass 485 is for international students who have completed their studies in Australia for a period of two academic years, 92 weeks and 16 calendar months. You must be under 50 years of age and have completed the English language requirements. This consists of an IELTS or PTE, OET or other similar English language test with an equivalent of an IELTS band six. The subclass 485 temporary graduate visa is a visa that must be applied for onshore. So if you are refused your visa application onshore, you are unable to fly offshore to reapply. Likewise, if you are refused your visa onshore in Australia, you are also unable to reapply the second time in Australia. As such, you have one application, one visa equals one chance. I'll say it again, one application, one visa equals one chance. So let's look at the two streams of the temporary graduate visa subclass 485. We have the graduate work stream and the post-study work stream. The differences between the two streams that the graduate work stream requires an applicant to nominate an occupation, undertake a skills assessment for that nominated occupation based on their previous study qualifications. The post study work stream requires you to have applied and been granted your first student visa on or after the 5th of November 2011. You must have completed only a bachelor's, a master's or a doctorate and there are no occupational requirements. So as you can see, there is flexibility in different capacities on both sides and in both streams. The graduate work stream has more flexibility in the study you previously undertook. However, the post-study work stream has no occupational requirements. Both streams require you to have studied for at least two academic years in Australia, be under 50 years of age, met the English level proficiency and have adequate health insurance for the duration of your visa. In addition to having adequate health insurance for the duration of your visa, you must also obtain health insurance whilst you're on your bridging visa waiting for a decision on your visa application. This can be a tricky process and I do suggest you seek professional advice before lodging your visa application. 
The visa validity for both streams varies. The graduate work stream visa validity is 18 months, whilst the post-study work stream is between two to four years. So for a bachelor, a bachelor with honours, a master's by coursework or a master's extended its two year visa validity. For a master's by research, it's three year visa validity and for a doctorate, it's a four year visa validity. This period of time enables you to obtain work experience. It also allows you time to understand whether you wish to remain in Australia long term. A important requirement of this visa is the Australian study requirement. In the six months before you apply, you must have completed one or more qualification at a CRICOS registered Australian educational institution. This must be for a total of two academic years, 92 weeks and 16 calendar months, and it must have been on a student visa. So not on, as a dependent on a 457, not on a partner visa, etc. It must be a student visa. Another important component of this visa is the completion date. This is the date of notification all course requirements are met. It's the date the results of final exams are published and it triggers a six month period during which you can apply for the subclass 485 temporary graduate visa. It is also the date when the, for the graduate work stream, the skills assessing authority can begin their skills assessment. Now the completion date generally is in a letter to you as a student. However, it can be on the internet in a newspaper or on the education institutions bulletin board. There are some fees and costs associated with the temporary graduate visa subclass 485. The Department of Immigration visa application charge for the primary applicant is $1,500. In addition to this, there are migration agent fees and ancillary fees such as medicals, police checks, as well as possibly translations. Migration agent fees do vary and it is important that you understand what you are getting for your money. Migration agent fees can include a full service or a part service or can be an hourly service. So do understand what you are obtaining from your registered migration agent when you sign a service agreement with them. Fees vary and can go from anything from $1,500 through to $4,000 for a migration agent fee. For the temporary graduate visa, the current processing time is between two to four months. So this gives you a little bit of time on a bridging visa between the student visa and uh, the granting of your visa. There are some future migration pathway options for you should you be granted the subclass 485 temporary graduate visa. Some of these are permanent and some are temporary. The subclass 189 or the subclass 190 skilled independent and skilled nominated visas are an independent visa, which is a permanent visa, which may be an option for you. Alternatively, there is a subclass 457, which is a temporary visa and it's an employer sponsored visa. In addition to this, there is the subclass 186 and the subclass 187, which are employer sponsored visas. One, the subclass 187 is a regional visa. So when you are looking to obtain work experience on your subclass 485 visa, do take into consideration your future migration pathway and which way you wish to proceed. And as I said previously, do seek professional advice when looking to organise your migration plan. So IOM Migration Services can be contacted on www.iomosmigrationservices.org or email iomosmigrationservices at iom.int or a free call on 1300 921 811. I'll say that again, 1300 921 811. So thank you for today's presentation. And should you wish to contact IOM on those contact details, I'd be happy to discuss with you any queries you may have or possibly looking to apply for your future subclass 485 temporary graduate visa. Thank you.